Alright guys, Paco Slim here with the Pack Opinion. Um, I've done a few voice acting auditions for some projects, some fan project stuff, and a couple of times it'll kind of require a voice filter. Um, for example, Scarecrow from Batman. Um, I, did what, I did one of those, so I'll play a quick little clip of my voice there. Why fight Batman? You're as crazy as the rest of us. You need us just as much as we need you. So, what you'll notice is, is that it's a very bizarre effect. And um, one way I've managed to do that is I use GarageBand whenever I want to make effects on my voice. If not, then I'll just use QuickTime Player. Uh, that's a quick way for me to record and get my audio down. But sometimes I, if I want to add an effect, I'll go straight into GarageBand because it has some interesting voice effects. Um, I'm going to quickly record a line. Um, that being, uh, the line is, at the end of Fear, Oblivion. And that is a line for an audition I did once. Now, I'm going to do it a voice. You can do any kind of voice you want, but this is just a quick little video. It may help you in deciding on how to do a filter on your voice if you want to get into this. So, here, let's start off, I'm going to say, at the end of Fear, Oblivion. And at the end of Fear, Oblivion. So that was a line that I did for Scarecrow. Now I'm going to quickly play it back. And at the end of fear, oblivion. So what I quickly did was that is a test line. And you may notice there is a radio effect on that. That gives a little bit of an echo now. Um, I am using GarageBand, so some of these features may not be available to you. However, if you're doing Audacity, the same basic idea still applies. So now that we've had this radio effect to my voice, what we're going to do is we're copying it. I'm going to go to a, another one right below it and paste it. So you're going to get two sounds. Now on the second one, now if you're not using GarageBand, I'm not entirely sure how you do this. I'm sorry. However, if you do know how to adjust pitch, then this still applies. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop mine down to about three. And at this point, I'm going to play it and we're going to hear what it sounds like right now. And at the end of fear, oblivion. Now you may notice that has a really good creepy sound to it um if i wanted to i could add another track now with this track i'll put the vocals no effect at the moment i will cop whoop. So now paste this a third time however i'm gonna move it i'm gonna move it so all you hear is the oblivion I'm going to take that and make the audio part right here a bit lower. So now, so now it will sound quite a bit deeper. And at the end of fear, oblivion. I really like the sound of that. That's an interesting, creepy, scarecrow type voice. Now, like I said, you can use this any way you want. So maybe you're not going for the creepy thing. There are plenty of other effects that you can try using. However, these are just some interesting ones I found that I like the results. So what we got there is a good um, Scarecrow-esque voice tutorial. So um, if you have any other suggestions on how to get another type of sound, uh, let me know. And I might try... Maybe doing a Transformers, maybe just some robot sounding voice. I don't know. I'll look through, find ways, and maybe something good will come out of it. So, anyway, see ya.